Hello everyone. This coming weekend our readings may be challenging. We will hear from the prophet Jeremiah at his best and at the same time bordering on blasphemy. He accuses God of tricking him into a life that has brought him nothing but hardship and rejection. He never wanted to be a prophet but he was enticed by God who spoke tenderly saying, I formed you in the womb. God promised, I am with you to deliver you. I will put my words into your mouth. Jeremiah fell for it. He allowed God to work through him and the people rejected him for proclaiming God's word. Jeremiah was miserable because he shared God's fate. Jesus of all people would understand Jeremiah's plight as God's beloved he not only spoke God's word, he lived and breathed the Father's care. He gave of himself, a spread to the hungry, and moved through, lo through life as God's hand outstretched to the rejected and the needy. History and his own experience of being criticized, rejected, and threatened assured him that the powerful would seek, he would seek to do him in. We can assume that when Jesus talked about his impending suffering and death, it was not to impress his disciples with his future talent skills. He was sharing his heart. He wanted them to know and, and understand that he had discerned about God's will for him. When he said he must go to Jerusalem, he was saying that was the only way to be true to his vocation the disciples knew that going to Jerusalem would bring Jesus suffering. What they didn't understand, however, was why he would do it in the first place. Jesus was simply teaching his disciples that his fidelity to God's will demanded that he not hide from danger, persecution, or pain. He decided to place his life in God's hands trusting that his father would also give him the grace and strength to accomplish his call and mission. Unlike some of our brothers and sisters in places like India, China, Africa, and the Middle East, few Christians in the United States will ever have to face anything like the persecution Jesus and his disciples confronted. To those of us who don't have to walk the road toward martyrdom. St. Paul offers a different and no less costly challenge. He calls us into a life of faithfulness when he says, do not conform yourselves to this age. This is the call to live with Christ-like integrity, to stand up for gospel values, no matter the cost, or as Jesus puts it in the gospel, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. The cross, and only the cross, Jesus insists, will free us of our vanities and allow God's kingdom to break through and reign supreme in our hearts, strengthening us, strengthening us to open ourselves up to, a new way, to new ways of thinking, seeing, and valuing. Yes, it is a very challenging invitation we hear from Jesus. It can cost us everything. But when, but when the reward is endless and eternal, is there really anything else worth living for? And now some announcements. Registrations for all faith formation is available online now for first grade through high school visit our website or call the parish office if you have further questions. Next month, we will start using Flocknav to stay in touch with our parishioners. Using your phone, text the word Saint Tim, all caps, to 84576. Then select all the types of communication 
you want to receive from us. Please note that after September, this will be how we send you the Wednesday Blast, the electronic bulletin, and all Christian formation updates. See our website or the online bulletin for more information. RCIA, the Rite of Christian Initiation for Adults, will begin sessions via Zoom. If you or someone you know wishes to be part of the Catholic faith or have not had the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist, and are 18 or older, call the office. As always, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And until we see you again, please stay safe, wash your hands, keep social distance, and wear your mask.